Good morning, this is Jamie Franklin, and I'm here with a tour at 10. Um, this morning we're here in our Bennington Modernism Gallery, um, which is a gallery, a permanent gallery, that we rotate objects into and out of on a fairly regular basis, about once a year. Um, and right now, during our winter closure, is one of the times of the year during which I have an opportunity to think about what we might be rotating in and out of the spaces. And so, um, um, we have some of the objects out. None of the decisions have been finalized. We're still kind of um, in the process of looking at objects in space to think about um, what will look good together. But I thought I'd just share some of the works that we're looking at and contemplating bringing into the gallery to give you a little bit of um, insight into the curatorial process. Um, so here we have on the cart a painting by Ruth Ann Friedenthal. Um, Ruth Ann was a student at Bennington College in the late 50s. Um, this painting is from 1959, um, really representative of the sort of um, abstract painting that was happening at Bennington College in the 1950s and into the 1960s. Um, um, and, uh, you know, just beautiful sense of um, color and, and abstract form, not representational, um, um, but just exploring the possibility of the color line form um, um, in really beautiful ways. Um, and next to it on the cart um, is a spray painting um, by Jules Olitsky. Um, Olitsky was one of the um, um, professors, or rather they don't use that term, one of the art um, teachers at Bennington College um, in the 1960s. He taught there between 1963 and 1965. Um, and this is on loan to us from the Olitsky estate, which is based out of here, well, out of southern Vermont here, um, not far from us. Um, and this is, um, his spray paintings are some of my favorite works by Jules Olitsky. He created these um, a little bit later in the 1960s. He continued to live and work um, in southern Vermont um, during um, the 1960s. Um, and uh, there's a wonderful story about um, him and Kent Nolan and um, Paul Feely um, sitting around just having a conversation in one of their studios. And Olinsky said, you know, my ideal of painting would be if I could just spray a cloud of color into the air and have it just be there. Um, and he went home and as he was thinking about this kind of offhand flippant comment, he realized, well, maybe I could actually spray paint. Um, and that was kind of the genesis for his spray paintings. And it's really hard to see um, um, in reproduction, um, but in person you can see that there's this beautiful kind of gossamer layer of very tiny dots which are created by him actually using a spray gun um, to spray onto the canvas. Um, this kind of um, beautiful atmospheric um, sense of color. Here we have pinks, but if you look carefully there's even little tiny dots of green um, kind of contrasting colors. Um, just right here, we have a couple of small works on paper that I'm contemplating um, rotating into the gallery. On the left is a um, intaglio print um, by Dan Shapiro. Um, Shapiro taught um, printmaking at the college in the 1950s. Um, um, a, a wonderful, untitled, kind of surrealist image um, with this mask-like face coming out of um, the background. And then next to it is a work on paper by Simon Maselcio. Maselcio was one of the earliest teachers at Bennington College, arriving in the mid-30s um, and staying until um, the mid-60s. And this is one of his um, abstract paintings from the 1960s. You can see another little face jumping out at you, starting to try and think about dialogues between artists and across time. Um, and then as we turn the corner, um, some of the other objects that I have in the space. Um, um, this is actually a painting by Dan Shapiro, better known as a printmaker. Um, but um, the, again, the Shapiro um, estate is still right here in Bennington. He still has um, a couple of children that live here in the area, um, Abby and um, Joel Shapiro. And I've been um, very pleased to be able to work with the family and recently acquired a gift of about a dozen works, including the print that we just saw in this painting. Um, untitled abstract painting, beautiful use of color. Um, you know, everybody sees something different in it. Um, but these are relatively new acquisitions that um, I'm contemplating rotating into the larger gallery space. And so um, one of the things that I like to do when I'm rethinking this is 
I come up with ideas, but then I really have to bring them into the space to kind of see them in relationship to each other and the other things that are here. So this is kind of the fun part of my process. Um, but in April, when we reopen, a number of these, if not all of them, will be on view here in the Bennington Modernism Gallery, and we hope you all come and see them in person.